Portable entertainment. Some play music, like this iPod Classic 4th Generation. Although, you can play games and listen to audiobooks on this boy. Some you can watch TV on, like a supersonic portable TV. You can also listen to music on this boy as well. And it also kinda doesn't at all look like a bootleg iPod. But we're not talking about these boys today. Today we're talking about a card game that was turned into an unplayable electronic one. It's the Electronic Uno. I bought this at a Savers, and for those of you who watch Dank Pods, it's pretty much like an American Cashies. Except slightly worse and you don't find good stuff that often. Anyways, they really used a lot of plastic in this packaging. And this thing would have probably gotten thrown out after a couple times anyways, because the controls look so tortured on this thing. Or probably thrown out after the vacation, seen as it's great for travel. It claims it's based on America's number one game, although it's a bit late to the party, seen as the Uno game was super popular in the late 80s, not the late 90s. So yeah, sorry Uno. The LCD screens duplicate all the torturous, horrible UI that no one will understand. Have fun! So anyways, today we're going to be opening this boy and playing around with the controls a little bit. And as you can see, someone's already been in here. Which is probably good, because now I don't have to cut through the packaging. Alright, let's get this boy out of here. Ooh, the manuals are protected. So let's get it out of this plastic. Let's get rid of this plastic waste. And let's take a look at this boring manual. Yeah, it says how to play the card game. And on the back, it shows you the horrible controls and the batteries that probably don't work anymore. And finally, it shows you how to play on the torture device. It also was made in 1998, so the batteries are definitely toast. So yeah, this manual is not good, but not exactly bad either. Now let's get to the chunky boy. And just as I expected, this boy weighs absolutely nothing. Ooh, it has a label on the back. Probably to remind you of the trashy controls. Like, why did they have to stagger them like this? I mean, it was the 90s and weirdness was in style, so I guess I can't be too hard on it. There's the battery compartment, by the way. Well, Let's see if this boy even turns on. Wait, no way. This boy powered on. Let's start a game then. Hey, I didn't know Uno had its own theme. And the part where it gives you the card sounds like when Mario goes down the tube thing. Well anyways, let's see what I can do. Okay, is that bad? Good? How am I supposed to understand this? Wait. That literally sounds like when you shoot things in Galaga. It's so funny. Let's restart this. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Well, that certainly gets annoying, doesn't it? What's also annoying is this color scheme. Yellow and red? Is this some sort of McDonald's toy? I mean, it kind of feels like it. So yeah, this boy is pretty interesting and also pretty difficult to operate. This is harder to learn than the iPod Solitaire game. Also, there's the old look of the cards. That reverse card looks way different. What is pretty cool about this boy is that he still worked, even though I'm assuming someone changed the batteries before bringing it to the store, which is pretty nice of them. So yeah, this boy is pretty much designed for one use, playing Uno very horribly. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember to get the actual card game instead of this. And comment down below what you'd want to see next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.